Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome to the Jetty Jet Show. Today we're going to be talking about saving in Photoshop versus saving in Manga Studio. There is a big difference between Manga Studio and Photoshop in the way you save and it causes a lot of problems. If you guys are like me, I started off in Photoshop so when I switched over to Manga Studio, it was just a big headache. It was a big mess. I was losing files, I was saving over files and it was just creating extra files. It was insane. But there's a really simple solution to it, and I'm gonna sh show you guys exactly what I'm talking about. So this is um, the plane I did for, well, poster I did for Gemini Strike. The banner um, actually modeled this plane in 3D. Um, a really simple mock-up, so I can get the perspective down quick, and it also helps if I wanted to rotate the plane around and have not have to draw it um, over and over and over. Um, so anyway, so if you're working on your PSD file and you click save for the first time it prompts you to save the file as a PSD um, save so it's called banner 2 Gemini strike and it's on a folder called saved file on my desktop I'm gonna save file it saves it done did it now if I were to make changes say I changed the layer or just say I simply drew on it or you know made changes to the rocks I'm just drawing extra stuff and I clicked save it'll update it great and if I click save as I want a JPEG of this picture JPEG same folder save quality 12 maximum good save done the files in that folder and I can I can open it up and show you guys open There it is. No layers. It's a JPEG file. It's just a picture. Whereas this one, PSD, is the Photoshop file. It has all the layers there still. So if I continue working on it and I wanted a JPEG and I said save as, I can save as JPEG. It creates a JPEG without dis without changing the current file that I'm working on. Again, so if I were to save as, so I'm going to change it again. Save as. JPEG. It's gonna go in there as a JPEG. No, 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 no. It's under the same name, so we'll say better 2.2, right? Save. There it goes. It's it's there. Good. I know it's there, but I'm not touching it right now. Um, it isn't the same way on on Manga Studio. I'm gonna show you right right away. So this is what I expect it to do, right? So if you're switching into Manga Studio, um, okay. So Manga Studio, what happens is I'm working on a file. This is a manga that I've been working on um, for a client. I'm so excited. I can't wait to show you guys. It's it's complete. It's under. We have to steal balloon and add the words. I'm not putting it in. They will. But uh, that's what this is. So if I'm working on it, I'm gonna save for the first time. Save as square fifteen. You know, page fifteen. Scary chapter one. Save. There it goes. It's being saved. Cool. Now I have the. The LIP, which is the extension for Manga Studio, it's the LIP file. Um, lip. Let's just go with lip. So we have the lip file. We're working on the lip. Now, if I were to make some changes, right? I'm gonna just do that real quick up here, and click Command S, which is save. It updates it just like Photoshop. Good. So let's say if I wanted to create a JPEG file, I'm gonna click Save As. JPEG just like we did in Photoshop. Now we're gonna have a, we're gonna create a JPEG file, right? Not exactly. Not exactly. Um, so we have a JPEG file. Yes, in that folder we've created it. Perfect. But look right over here. It changes the file that you're currently working on into a JPEG file, and that causes a lot of problem problems because look, we still have the layers. Why in the heck? Is it still a JPEG while it's while we still have layers? That's a big problem. That's a big glitch. Um, Manga Studio, get your stuff together, man. Um, with this problem, say if you were continuing to work on it and you didn't realize that you're under JPEG, I'm gonna work on it, right? And I didn't know. Say I was working on some more shadows for the background here, like this tree here. Let's. I'm using a mouse, by the way. Okay, so we're adding some values for the tree. 
All right. I just want to update it. That's all I want to do. I want to hit Apple you know, Command Save, and I want the lip file, the original Manga Studio file, to just update, containing all these layers. Okay, here we go. Command S. What? What? What's going on? We're prompt with another window because it thinks we're using JPEG. I'm like, no, dude. I want to. I want to save my lip file. But say, for example, you just hit save. You're like, nah. I just want my my file to save. Now you're creating a JPEG file instead of a lip file and you think that you're working with lip constantly. Or say for example, we wanted to do Manga Studio. Like we wanted, we have to save over original Manga Studio file because it has the same exact name. So if you're working on something, there's multiple files and you don't know which one's the original, do you want to save over the original? Like what if something changed? What if that's not the file you wanted? So a lot of problems can happen like you you create multiple multiple files um, if your file is not in the same folder you're creating multiple files you might erase over something you wanted and just it's just big headache all right so in this case yes you would hit save and then replace if you know that that original one is the one you wanted to save over and you have to constantly I used to constantly keep doing that like but there's a better solution and it's super easy and this is how you do it. You export the file as a JPEG, all right? So currently we're working on a Manga Studio file, again, since we saved over the JPEG we were working on. So it keeps flipping again from JPEG to Manga Studio. We just wanna work on Manga Studio, never, ever, ever. There's no reason for it to, to become a JPEG unless I pull it up as a JPEG. So I'm gonna pull up this. The export, I'm gonna wanna export it as a JPEG. Perfect. That's what I want. I want a JPEG. Let's put point 0.2 since we created it earlier. A JPEG. So 0.2, 15.2. And it's going to give us this export settings. This is nice and it's really catered towards um, creating manga and even illustration uh, or comics because you can choose whether you want to keep the crop marks, the default borders, like text, like the borders such as this blue stuff you can keep that in there or keep it out just by clicking these check um, these checks so text say if you typed in your file you had some text that you typed in you want to include that uh, you can change the ratio which is really nice so all of these settings usually you if you're happy with the with the JPEG setting that you're working with everything should be default so that's pretty good let's just say okay Another one, again, the quality size. We get the same kind of prompt in, in uh, Photoshop. Hit OK, done. So hit OK twice, and you got it. It doesn't change this file. It creates the 15.2 scurry chapter one file. So let's do that again. Export, JPEG, see right here. It was created 15.2. If we do it again, 15.3, save, OK. And okay, so you have to go through extra steps, but it makes your saving more deliberate. Um, and this is your solution to not changing your, your file. So in case anyone's running into this issue, or if you guys didn't know about this issue, and you're getting Monk Studio, and, you, and you're like, it's a wonderful program, and you're like, wait a second, why is it saving all weird? Or maybe you just figured it out yourself because you started with Monk Studio. Who knows? Um, that's, that's pretty much it, I think. I think that covers about everything. Thanks a lot, guys, for watching. Hope this helped. Let me know if you guys have any questions in the comments. Um, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace is in cream.